For today's craft video, I'm going to show you how to use the beeswax from the uh, Team Craft Kit in this month's kit to make beeswax candles. Um, for these two candles that I rolled, um, you this is a cut approximately in half. Um, I didn't measure when I did this, so it didn't come out exactly in half, which is why one candle is slightly bigger than the other. Um, but you can uh, cut this in half a couple different ways. You can um, use a ruler to score it or a straight line just to score it and then bend it. If you have an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat like this, you can be much more exact and careful with it. Um, you know, measure it, cut it how you want it like this. But really this stuff is so soft that you could use any kind of knife, just a, even a plastic disposable knife would work to cut this because it is very soft. But I'm gonna show you how to make a pillar candle instead, um, just so that we get experience making a couple of different kinds. So you can see a couple different examples. So I wanna make mine kind of short. So I'm gonna cut this in half long ways instead of the other, for the other candles, I cut it in half short ways. So, okay, here we go. Three and three fourths of an inch is what we want. So I'm gonna just kind of mark that side. And mark it kind of part way through, so, cause I wanna keep my line straight. And I don't have a super long ruler. If you have like a straight, a longer straight edge than I have or a longer cutting mat than I have, that'd be great. So, if your eyes don't get dizzy looking at it, you can always use the, the little honeycomb pattern on here to mark where your straight edge should be go. So I'm just going to use the edge of this to press in and cut. So I kind of scored it by using the edge of my ruler. Just bend it in half until it breaks. So I can show you how you can do this without having an X-Acto knife or anything like that. But if you do have an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat, you can use that to make it a little bit cleaner than mine here. Okay, so now I've got it cut in half. So because we're gonna be rolling it this way, it's gonna be a lot thicker around than these ones were. Um, these ones more the tapered candle kind. Um, so next you're gonna need to get your um, wick that came in your kit and you want to trim it with a little bit of extra at the top. So you can measure it out, trim it to the length you want. And this is really important. Figure out what side you want the top of your candle to be. I recommend that the bottom, the side that's the, bottom, the edge that's going to be the bottom be the straighter edge that you have. Um, and I don't know how well you can see this, but your wick has a uh, little pattern to it and you want it to be when it's standing upright you want it to look like a V so this is going to be the top of my candle and I don't know how well you can see this in here but it's a V pattern like that so I'm going to lay this here and um, just to give you a heads up, if your room is particularly cold, it can be hard to roll the wax here to bend it. So if your room is really cold, the room that you're working in, you can warm up the wax by either just warming it with your hands, you know, rub your hands together to warm them up and put them on the wax to warm it up. If you have a blow dryer, you could use a blow dryer to put it on low and kind of just uh, spray it a little bit, but don't do that too long or you will melt the wax. Um, but you want to make sure that when you start it, when you start rolling it, that it's really tight. So that's the most important thing. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but if you look at this one, it was significantly looser and it kind of crumb is a little bit 
more crumpled looking because I did not roll it as tight when I got started. So I do recommend um, really taking here at the beginning. And you wanna try to roll it evenly so that you end up with a nice flat edge on the bottom. It's okay if it's not perfect though, because it's whole point is to have this cute homemade candle. All right, so that's how thick this candle is now, but I really want it to be a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is attach this part and I want the straight edge to be along the same edge. So I'm gonna kind of just squish these together. And be more careful than me and make sure your edges line up. And kind of press that together and then just keep rolling and you don't have to worry about it because that's gonna get covered up. So this point where it's connected is gonna get rolled and covered and you won't even see it. Oh, and the reason you have parchment paper in your kit is so that you can work on that and so that your surface doesn't get a little bit sticky like mine is here. So when you're done, you can um, press it in just to help it hold its shape. You don't really have to press it too much. And then I'm going to kind of press it down to try to squish the bottom to flatten it because even though I tried as hard as I could to roll it and keep it even, it does have a little bit of um, a bump in the middle. So I'm just gonna try to squish down to make it as flat as possible. And so now I have my very cute little candle here and um, out of ribbon but all of your kits should come with some kind of ribbon either this lacy one or a pretty shiny one or sheer one and some yeah so if you want to give you just a gift to someone you can take that off and then just tie a cute little ribbon around it make sure that you do remove the ribbon or the string before you burn it because you know it's flammable and you don't want to start a fire in your home but if you just want to make it kind of cute and decorative that on there and you're all set. You should probably trim your wick a little bit too long like mine is. That's it. Hope y'all enjoy making your beeswax candles.